Hey everyone, this is Bobby for bngames.com, bn-games.com. This is your October 26th update for the website. Um, last week we had reviews for Uncharted 2 and Brutal Legend, the two major releases for October. Um, I know the other major release would be probably Borderlands. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my hands on it. So we might be reviewing that soon. Um, Alex also is trying to get a copy of Demon Souls, which is a PS3 ex uh, exclusive that he would like to review as well. Uh, we also had reviews from Timmy this week, um, our first retro review. So uh, his reviews were as a PSP GT game, Grand Turismo, which took forever to release. And read the review. And then uh, the retro review is Guilty Gear X Advanced Edition, which I'm a big fan of Guilty Gear on the PS2. Um, my brother's opinion and I differ as far as the retro review is concerned, but hey, that's everyone has their own opinion and we may do counter reviews. I haven't played the game too much to be able to review it, so I won't be doing so. Uh, other reviews that should be coming up this week is Uno for the PlayStation Network. Um, I know I was going to do that last week, but kind of got bogged down. Uh, we'll also be doing maybe um, some other stuff for some PSNs, ex specific stuff, uh, stuff I haven't reviewed yet that I bought and really didn't get a chance. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, um, Mega Man 9, stuff like that. I mean, some of it's older, but, uh, you know, still relevant. Uh, we may also start doing more retro reviews. I, I definitely want to be writing a review for Final Fantasy VII, as if, you've, uh, if you're a... Friend of mine, or a regular to the site, is my favorite game of all time, and I'd like to write a very, very comprehensive review, especially since it was released on PSN um, this year. So it's still, still relevant on some level. Uh, other than that, uh, a lot of the views come from uh, the official PlayStation forums, which with forums where I usually post our PS3 based reviews or PS3 um, exclusive reviews. Um, my brother has done both Xbox 360 specifically ones, specific ones, Halo ODST, um, that was recently, that was the week before, so we'll be working on that. Uh, I would like to mention this is probably going to be the last video update um, here in Washington where I'm currently living. been here for about a year and a half and I will be moving back to Los Angeles where I'm from like I've kind of hinted at in the other videos um, specifically uh, my brother lives there still and we will possibly be doing videos together video updates and maybe sure not more reviews um, still looking for s anyone who wants to write for the Xbox 360 as well even though we'll be in possession of one you know it's not my primary f platform um, when we do get back I might be doing some reviews for Fable 2 um, Gears of War. I did play that. I, I used to own a 360, by the way, for those who of you who do not believe me. I used to own one, and it was Red Ring of Death, and after that, just, you know, didn't buy another one. That was before Microsoft's special warranty upgrade thing. Anyway, um, <clears throat> also looking at doing that Left 4 Dead review, finally. I got through enough of it. I think, uh, I think I'm pretty good as far as what I need to do to review it, because, I mean... It's not exactly the most story-driven campaign. Uh, also, Company Heroes, we've got some video of that on the site. Um, just a little note about the benchmark. Uh, I use Xfire. Uh, if you want to add me on Xfire, um, the, my, my screen name is Inner Blue Abyss. Um, I will post it down below in text So if you want to add me there if you're a PC gamer. Um, so it's using a software video capture emulation, which eats some of the RAM while I'm doing... Um, doing the gameplay or benchmarking or whatever the case may be so it's a severe um, take on resources most videos you see online on YouTube and other sites use video capture cards um, running from one PC to the other which just streams the video and captures it that way unfortunately I don't have that kind of money at the moment and it's not kind of setup that uh, I have available so I still think it's pretty good frame rate for being a software capture it was in somewhere in the 40 frames. The my my laptop is an Alienware laptop, four gigs of RAM, dual core, you name it, uh, it'll handle it with no issue. Um, I'm gonna be posting some video of also Star Wars Empire at War. Uh, played it before. Um, 
kind of an RTS kick after Brutal Legend. I mean, Brutal Legend has its uh, RTS elements, but I kind of was looking for a more serious one. I know Star Wars is not the most serious one, but it's definitely one of my favorites. If you've never played it before, you can pick it up for about 10 15 bucks now. Uh, some places even cheaper. Um, there's also the Star Wars Best of Collection, which has the, the excellent Knights of the Old Republic, which I'd like to maybe review eventually, uh, the Xbox Original Edition. Um, also, Star Wars Empire at War, um, Star Wars Republic Commando, which was a decent shooter on the Xbox, uh, not so good on the PC. Uh, just, you know, it, it's a whole plethora of them, you know, but as far as Empire at War, I mean, I, I don't like doing the slant skirmishes, but the space battles are always awesome, especially if you set it up on the highest difficulty AI, you can really sit there and just, it can take hours, I mean, you, and I always play the Empire, because Star Destroyers are fucking kick-ass, oh, expletive, anyway, uh, other ideas that are coming up uh, when I return to Los Angeles is going to be the podcast, this was a little longer than my usual update. Uh, podcast is what we're looking to do. Um, possibly have a couple of regular people who don't exactly write for the site. But the podcast will be game-centric, but not completely game-focused. I don't know what podcast is focused anymore, honestly. Uh, if you have an idea of what the kind of format we'd like to... I don't want to say emulate, but definitely... Um, I definitely would like to aspire to is uh, Giant Bomb, Jeff Gersman, Ryan Davis, Vinny Caravella, Brad Shoemaker. Definitely endorse them. Uh, but I'm a regular listener of the Giant Bomb cast, and I'd like to do something kind of similar fashion. I mean, helps me get to work every day, every Tuesday, every Tuesday night. Download it every Wednesday drive to work, which my commute is two and a half hours right now, by the way, from um, northern Washington to Bellevue. Um play through the entire podcast and usually listen to it twice on the way back just always entertaining always uh, informative and always like everyone's insight of everyone on, on the um on the podcast there but still i mean it, it's it's something we'd like to do here we originally did a podcast in july when i was back in la uh for my birthday and uh we had about an hour and a half long podcast unfortunately due to technical difficulties we haven't been able to bounce it using pro tools because pro tools is an ass about mac updates and i'm not a mac advocate i'd run it on windows unfortunately it didn't run very well uh so that's coming up um other site blogs we're going to try to get more writing on there um i know that's not exactly relating to being in games which i you know, talking about mostly here, but we have other blogs here. I have my own one. Um, you can go to basicallynothing.com, their whole listing of them. And my brother, who currently writes for the site, has his own known as Shift Down. Um, he should be updating that soon. Um, Alex, uh, hopefully, will be writing some more reviews for the site. Um, one little note that I did uh, kind of discuss with people on the PlayStation forums about Point Lookout. Um, not everyone who's played Point Lookout has dealt with those technical issues there were some complaints that it wasn't mentioned in the review um i spoke to alex about it and alex didn't, didn't really have any of those frame rate issues where i did severely uh, i mean if i would have wrote the review it probably would have gotten a lot less although fallout uh, to beth beth says uh, credit has um it's an awesome game, but it's always been a little bug ridden and on all the platforms uh, in some way, shape, or form. PlayStation 3 being its least favorite, obviously, but I digress. It's an awesome game. I've put, at this point, about 90, 95 hours into it. I put more into Oblivion. Uh, that was what I originally put on my Xbox 360 before it died. Actually, what I played the most, if you want to get down to it. Um, played the crap out of it. I might pretty much completed it to no end and bought the PlayStation 3 version, which obviously was superior, and I did get through a good majority of it, but uh, unfortunately, just, you know, other games came out, and it's good to have in the collection. Um, other than that, I have a cat in here, by the way. Well, we're running long. It's almost going to be a 10-minute thing, and YouTube does not allow... Um, anything longer than 10 minutes so I'll let you go this is the BN Games update for October 26 2009 thank you